Hello there. In last episode, Marina told that uh, she has candidate for most stupid work, but not. <laughs> right now we have the most stupid work. We, we have the winner. We have the winner, I think. Yeah, we need to remove this folly <laughs> because uh, yeah, we created this slope. Do some slope here from the sand. To get rid of this step, small step. But it's too high. When uh, when you put insulation, it's got here. Also, we want to put second layer. But when you do that, it's still another gap. Will be problem with concrete when we put this concrete here. My idea was to do to cut insulation like that to fill this gap. But right now I understand that it's really stupid work and uh, yeah, it's, it will take it a lot will of time. Take, it will take a lot of time. So the plan is remove all this plastic folly and we we'll put it uh, on the wall right now. There are some salts in the wall and these salts can cause uh, some dark areas on uh, yeah on the render on the render on the finished wall yeah and we let their specialist test uh, to test our walls and they yeah pretty many salts yeah, it's, in, it's in the walls a lot of nitrogen not nitrogen but yeah some kind of after that we take normal uh, folly softer folly put uh, on the floor yeah and put insulation uh, and attach it to the wall because it's, it will be straight corners it, uh, it will be much easier to go in this way and yeah it, it will be much easier and also we will save, save time on we don't need connect this one we don't need cut it we don't need yeah do other not necessary work we already lost time and money but not that much we will continue doing <laughs> trying persist in this solution yeah. yeah and all the problems that we have right now it's because of this step on the foundation yeah, it's like... without this step it would work very well but yeah and the profiled membranes that we used um, on the floor we will put to the attached to the walls here so it's not completely wasted the winner of the most stupid job that I have ever done at this point of time, you know, because the renovation still continues. How are you doing? Awesome. Like and subscribe, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
maybe right now it's more clear. Uh, we have put this uh, profiled membrane, I guess it's called like that, against the wall, as you can see. And right now maybe it's a bit too high. So it's my height, something around my 1 meter 50. And uh, probably we will uh, cut it and make it lower later. But right now we just uh, apply it to the full lens as it's being sold. Yes. Where have you been? You're so dirty. Oh my god. <laughs> She's almost white. Oh dear.
Yeah, I finished my work for today. What I did, yeah, I put this insulation. Also, I want to use this uh, step like gun line just to, ha to have level of the uh, yeah, conference. Also, I did with groove here. I want to put more iron bars, yeah, more. Uh, iron reinforcement here uh, around the wall because it will be a wall from the insulation and yeah it, it will be nice to have a little bit more uh, reinforcement for the floor yeah that's all see you day three and one more room to cover with plastic and insulation <laughs> it seems to be, uh, when you watch YouTube videos, it seems to be very uh, easy and very fast and you look something that you can do in one day, but in reality it takes more time than you would expect. So everyone is here, you can start. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to the next day on the Hue, <laughs> on the farm. Uh, we uh, didn't film yesterday because we were completely done and uh, it was pretty late and actually it was pretty boring because we were at the end we were just puzzling uh, small pieces of installation and it's just very boring and takes a lot of time. But what we have done, uh, let me show you. We are have put two layers of insulation. This is first layer and the second one. In total, we have 10 centimeters of insulation on our floor. And Alia also created a bed uh, for the concrete slab. You see these two layers be uh, because of the step uh, that we were talking and having problems all the time with. Uh, 
and uh, this will be there like Ilya created like a level for the concrete slab and this will be the level of our finished floor but this is for later so when I was talking about puzzling you see here <laughs> this is the puzzling that Ilya was doing and actually it took really a lot of time if only we had in this step we could do it much faster as you can see here on this wall there was no step and it was just one just one layer but everywhere else where the step is we put two layers <laughs> the last uh, effort before pouring the concrete let's bring rebar in yeah but first let's clean the rest up <laughs> As always, <laughs> cleaning up. I was looking for the supports to lay the reinforcement on, reinforcement, reinforcement on, and uh, we found them on our farm. It's our concrete, concrete fence that was here, that we have removed. We have a lot of them and it's a great reuse actually. It's just perfect solution for our for our problem. They are all the same height and just concrete, very good concrete. Perfect, couldn't be better. <laughs> Sometimes I think that Elia bought this farm to play with all the possible toys that he was dreaming of in his childhood. Like a welding machine, a digger. No! <laughs> it wasn't my plan. Just... Now he can bend the bars. No. <laughs>
I finish with puzzling work. This house has no standard size, no standard dimensions, and but all uh, material has standard length. You know, it's something uh, like two or three meters or sixty centimeters or something like that. But here is any normal dimension, so it was quite puzzling work. Yeah, I still need to put this concrete stuff under the uh, rebar, put some connection, yeah, connect all this rebar, but it's done. It's almost ready to concrete. So, like and subscribe, uh, wait for inspection. So it's inspected. I can go home. Perfect. It's perfect when you inspect on time. So see you.